Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be talking about how to automatically load families into your Revit models using Dynamo. Have you ever thought about how many hours we spend manually loading families into our Revit models one at a time? Don't get me wrong, I'm a huge fan of Revit and I think it's a leap towards automation and building construction, but a simple task like loading families into your Revit models is so time consuming. Efficiency is a big part of building information modeling. Um, but the majority of us aren't taking full advantage of it. And also Revit is such a powerful software, but in our day-to-day -day work, we're just scratching the surface of what it can do. So I did a bit of digging and using several resources, I created a Dynamo script that will load all the families that you want directly into your Revit model. Before we jump into the script, let's talk about Dynamo. Dynamo is a software that can be used both as a plugin for other software like Revit or Maya, or it can be used in standalone or what's called a sandbox mode. What's great about Dynamo is that it's a visual programming tool. So it's great for both programmers and non-programmers to use. Architects like myself are visual people. So seeing a node is less intimidating than seeing raw code. We have good problem solving skills, but we aren't programmers. So a programming tool like Dynamo will help us create solutions to building construction problems. Loading a single family into your Revit model using Dynamo is fairly simple. With your Revit project open, launch the Dynamo interface and look for the Clockwork package. Download the one compatible with your version of Dynamo. Once this is done, search for the Load Families node and create an instance of it in your workspace. You'll also need to add a string node in which you'll copy the path to the Revit family that you want to load. Remember to add the RFA file tap extension at the end of this string. Once you run this script, you'll see that the family has automatically been upgraded if needed and loaded into your model. But when you have 100 families to load into your model, that method isn't the most efficient or logical. Now we come to the script that I wrote that will load multiple families into your Revit model. The script is going to read this Excel sheet I created and load these two specialty equipment families. First, let's run the script to see if it works. So you can see that the two families were upgraded and loaded into the project. The script can be broken down into three parts. The first gets the name of the families from the Excel file and filters it into two lists based on yes and no values. The list with the yes values is then brought into the second part where a prefix and a suffix is added to each family name and then the families are individually loaded into the project. The third part is a check to see which families didn't load. The list of the families in the project is compared to your original list. And if the difference is null, it means your script ran successfully. That's it, simple, easy automation that'll save you hours. Click on the link below to download the Dynamo script that you just saw and stay tuned for more videos to come. Until then, I'm Belinda. Thanks for watching.